Hello everyone, this is Riku Keyblade Master, and wow, you guys are not going to believe this, okay, Sweden took no lockdown measures, absolutely none, absolutely none, yet they end up with... I mean, seriously, over two-thirds of their population got infected because they didn't take on lockdowns. They said that they saw no reason to do so. And honestly, I, I don't know why. I would not want to be in any location of Scandinavia right now. I, I feel like... Sweden really, really overdid it because they're like, okay, you know, we're not going to lock anything down. We're not going to shut anything down, period, you know. And a lot of people, including young children, had died from the coronavirus because of it. But yet, they're counting, they say they're learning from the whole thing. Well, if you're learning from it, then why didn't you just... I mean, seriously, what is the point of risking a human life if you do not care about the people that you are, in turn, protecting? I mean, come on here. This is ridiculous. Also... I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to be anywhere in Scandinavia right now. I wouldn't want to be in Sweden in particular. But in other news, in New York, there has been like 70 deaths at a children's hospital. 70 deaths at a children's hospital. Are you kidding me? Due to the coronavirus... And, mm, and also another shocking twist of events, like Cuomo's like, okay, so most of the deaths have been from people that are staying at home and it's very shocking, which is totally understandable because it is, you know, like they're trying to take whatever precaution they can to mitigate the spread and make sure they don't come into contact and whatever, you know. So it is shocking that this is happening. But yeah, 70 children in New York died from the coronavirus as well um, within just the span of 24 hours, I think. Which also proves, which also makes me go back to the whole Sweden thing. What the fudge is wrong with you? Okay, I, I, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything, but I'm just saying that, you know, I feel like if they had taken precautions, they would have literally had less death. But at the same time, they were like, you know what, the economy's hurting anyway. Which, I totally understand why they did it, because their economy was hurting in the first place. So, like, shutting down everything would make things worse. But at the same time, it's also making things worse by keeping everything open. Because several people are, you know, not able to social distance. Or get access to materials to make a mask. Or wear one, you know? Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I literally am, I myself am scared because I had like some majorly severe abdominal pain two nights ago. And 
they said that they just said that abdominal pain is one of the side effects of the virus. So if anything, like, I don't know if I'm just getting little titches of the virus here and there and like I'm somehow able to recover myself. I, I always knew that I would get it due to my underlying health conditions. I always knew I would get it in the beginning when this whole thing started. But, I mean, geez, Sweden, I understand why you didn't shut down your economy because it's hurting, but look at all the lives you've lost. They're almost at over two-third capacity of their population already in the Scandinavian countries and just Sweden alone, I believe. Just Sweden alone, they're like already almost two-thirds of the population affected. And look at us. I don't even know what's two-thirds for the USA because, um... Look at all the deaths and stuff. Like, the, the Swedens must be counting how many people died, and that goes with their two-thirds. Now, look at us, for example. We had so many deaths, including the 70 children that had recently died at a New York Children's Hospital. Um, yet, somehow we are still not at two-thirds of our population infected yet what on earth is going on I mean what what on earth what is it gonna take for us to get to two-thirds of our population already and if deaths were counted like they're doing in Sweden we already surpassed that we practically already surpassed two-thirds if we counted all the deaths that had been happening but since we're not counting deaths we're only apparently counting the people that are alive and had recovered which is dumb i mean it's smart in some ways but it's still kind of stupid but yeah i mean i i you know what, I wouldn't count your chickens before they hatch. Like I told my mom, I said, you know what? And, you know, and my cousin too. My cousin, Andrea, she was like, really not too happy. She was like, you know what, if I get the virus, I get the virus. I'm not gonna let something as, you know, trivial as this, like, I can't, I'm not going to let fear of getting this virus run my life. Which I understand where she's coming from. But unlike me, she wasn't born with any underlying health conditions. So, I mean, I get where she's coming from on her standards. I get where she's coming from. But, yeah. I, I just, I just don't understand Scandinavia, like, why, why would you, mainly Sweden, why would you risk your own citizens? I mean, like I said, I understand, because your economy is already hurting, but come on. Look at how many people have lost their loved ones. Um, like, the youngest of, I, I, I don't know, like, yesterday I heard of two deaths in New York, for example. The youngest was, like, a five-year-old boy that passed away due to COVID complications. He didn't have the full-blown virus, but, like, COVID complications. Well, I guess triggering a COVID complication uh, registers as getting the virus, which makes sense. Uh... Like I said with my little cousin Cameron, he had a really bad fever at the beginning. And my aunt had lower, like severe lower back pain really bad. 
and I've been getting pain in my lower back, my upper back, and most recently my abdominal region. And I'm not even going to lie, it all hurt like nobody's business. Like, no, it didn't happen all at once. It happened, you know, sort of scattered. But the fact that I still got the pain was still a problem. But in any case, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys ended up experiencing symptoms of the virus um let me know just pretty much anything in general um if you guys like what you see comment rate subscribe to become a keyblade wielder until next time i've been riku keyblade master i'll catch you later i cannot stress enough to please be safe and hang in there. I know this lockdown is driving a lot of us batty right now. But hey, you know, like, we can find out some way to do it without going completely insane. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. Peace.